Have you ever thought about the fact that mathematics and languages are very closely intertwined? Well, stick around and I'll prove to you that they are. Hello, my name is Sam. I'm a qualified teacher of English as a foreign language and welcome to Inglogic, my new YouTube channel where I will be showing you a slightly different approach to English and languages in general by combining the two greatest passions of mine, mathematics and languages. And I know it sounds a little bit mad, but I'll tell you a little bit about myself and what I like studying and hopefully that will clarify where my ideas stem from. So what are languages to me and why do I like them? On a very basic and primal level, I perceive languages as a combination of random sounds that engender an emotional and mental response in us. A long time ago, someone decided that the combination of the sounds l, a, v would mean the feeling of caring, and that's exactly what we associate it with today. And that fascinates me. I am fascinated by the fact that a mere manipulation of air in your vocal cords and then in your mouth can engender a stimulus in someone's brain. Now, what's the difference between a native language and a foreign language? Although a native language is still a random combination of sounds, these are so hardwired in your brain from birth that they engender an emotional response that is immediate. We don't even know it's happening. We can't control it. Foreign languages, on the other hand, use sounds that we were never programmed to work with. They are completely alien to us. And what I like about speaking a foreign language is the fact that I can create and use these sounds that ultimately mean nothing to my brain, and I can put them together into a word that means something to someone else. So if we take the German word Löcher, for example, which means holes, the fact that I can create the sounds ö and ch which don't exist in English, and I can put them together into a word that means something to a German speaker, blows me away. Speaking of German, the languages that I speak are English, German, Italian and Spanish. And in the spirit of full disclosure, English is not technically my first language, as I was born and bred in Italy, but I've been living in London for a very long time now, and English is the only language that I use on a daily basis, so it does feel like a first language to me. And now let's move on to maths and the reason why I like it, which is the fact that it's a prime example of how far the human brain can stretch and what it can conquer. Which brings me to the connection between mathematics and languages. I said before that I see languages as a combination of sounds and codes, and what I mean by codes is mathematical equations and functions that we simply need to learn and solve the same way we would with the formula for a quadratic equation. Now, while a native language uses codes, variables and functions that we are very much used to, a foreign language uses a completely different system of these elements. And the same way maths uses numbers to express concepts, I love exploring how languages go about conveying the same idea through their grammar, which is essentially maths. And after all this philosophical talk, I should probably tell you what we'll actually be doing on this channel. First of all, because I have a mathematical mind, this method works for me. I've created it because I know that it helps my brain understand a foreign language. But if you notice that it doesn't work for you, it's absolutely fine. We will analyse the logic behind grammar in general, and you can apply this to any language that you decide to learn. Obviously, we will then focus on English grammar in more detail. That being said, we will not cover basic grammar. We will only cover some basic elements of it, just to understand how the grammar of English works in general. But in terms of topics, we will only cover more advanced ones. When I speak a foreign language, knowing that I know a lot of words makes me feel confident and comfortable. So we will look at ways to learn vocabulary and to expand it so you can add to English the same colours and nuances that you would be able to add to your native language. As a teacher, I specialise in pronunciation and I will definitely give you a general smattering of basic pronunciation and then we'll have a look at more advanced elements of it. English pronunciation can be tricky, but it's also fascinating and I will give you as many tips and tricks as I can to help you navigate this bizarre area of the language. Based on the topics that we will cover, this channel is not aimed at complete beginners, but it's more for anyone who wants to explore English from a slightly different perspective. It's also tailored for teachers. If you're a teacher and you find my mathematical methods and my grammar games useful for your students, by all means, feel free to steal them. And last but not least, this channel is for all the language geeks out there, just like myself.
Throughout the video, you will have noticed a couple of words popping up right next to me, right here. And this is exactly how this channel will work. Every time I mention a word that is a little bit obscure, I will have it pop up here for you to pay attention to. And while we're at it, I will be using the notation of dictionaries, whereby SDH stands for something and SB stands for somebody. And I will be making a whole video about the mathematics of dictionaries very soon. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel down below and I will see you with my next video very soon.